Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? I'm Ashley Sage, welcome back to my channel. It is a gorgeous day, it is time for me to start over. Okay. Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? I'm Ashley Sage, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna get ready to do another Fortune Friday. It is Friday, August 23rd. We are coming to the end of our Mercury retrograde. We had our uh, full moon on the Monday. It's been crazy. The energy's been crazy. The human resonance has been going off. Check my I, my um, Instagram if you want to see updates for that because I don't put them on here. Oh, look, I found this in my car. little stone, a little magic. I like it. Okay. We're going to figure out what to focus on, what not to focus on, what to be aware of, what to be thankful for, for the week or this weekend. What is that? 23rd to 26th. By Monday, we should be sliding out of Mercury retrograde. Don't forget there is a two week shadow period, so it's going to be a little squirrely as well. Okay. Technical difficulties. Sorry, guys. Let's try this again. Okay, let's do it for the fire signs for this weekend. 23rd to 26th. Okay. Let's see what the fire signs need to pay attention to. I'm going to go middle. Temperance, two of cups. Four of Pentacles. Okay, we could go a few ways with this, and I do like it. Mainly because I'm a fire sign and this looks fun. <laughs> okay, I'll just fix it. Okay, looks good. Okay, so with our temperance going into our two of cups, the mood going into this weekend is really good. Somebody's come to really good realization about their front, like their emotional state. Let's put it this way. Right, you're self-regulating, you've done Probably really good, like, myofascial movements, breath work. I did my breath work this morning. I'm uh, going to be starting a cleanse pretty quick, right? So getting into that, like, <laughs> self-regulating, making sure that you're okay, kind of kind of jazz with your emotional state. Um, somatic movements would be really good. Going into the weekend, just being really protective of your physical state, okay? With the two of cups into the four of pentacles. Paying attention to your um, physical body and your emotional body coming into this, right? Really acknowledging the fact that you are an emotional human being and that your body needs to represent that as well. Potentially, uh, I don't know, maybe you might want to start rip, like do, testing out some fasting. That's what it feels like there could be somebody going through a health issue, so it might be a good idea to go through some fasting. Another way we can look at this is temperance going into the two cups and the four of pentacles. There could be an opportunity for somebody to potentially fall in love with themselves or with somebody else this weekend. So be just a little bit cautious. And you could be cautious, of course, uh, this weekend, knowing that it is Mercury retrograde, right? That's not the best time to fall in love with somebody, right? You want to get to know this person right away um, instead of just being like, oh, my God, we have to get married and that's it like this weekend, right? So going into this weekend, just really paying attention to your emotional state, really like, I love this two of cups going into the four of pentacles. This could be somebody actually really falling in love with something that could potentially make you money going forward. Knight of cups and six of cups. Six of cups, knight of cups. Actually, this is interesting because with that four of pentacles, I'm going into the knight of cups and the six of cups. This is definitely like, this is a really big emotional thing. I don't know. I, this is definitely like self-love. This is self-worthiness. Maybe you're coming out of like a personal slump, right? If somebody hasn't been feeling really good about themselves for like a while, a couple weeks, a couple months, a couple days, right? You're really coming out of this with the knight of cups and the six of cups. You're really coming into this, like finding a reason to wake up in the morning. Uh, your joie de vie your reason to exist kind of deal. This is kind of what's happening this weekend, right? So kind of getting out of this blocked energy stage, right? So if this is a specific um, fire sign that this is resonating with you, try doing some um, chakra meditations, right? I've been actually called to try doing some more chakra medica um, meditations as well. So give it a shot, see what you think, okay? Fire signs, looks pretty decent. I'm not going to complain, okay? Let's do our earth signs, our Taurus, 
Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> okay, Earth signs. Okay, still emotions, still into the emotions. I like it. Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, the world. I love the world because it has a multifaceted expert like a uh, meaning, right? You can kind of take this and run with it a little bit. It does have a solid meaning. You can't just interpret it as whatever you want. It's not like the Wheel of Fortune where it's like, guess what's coming, right? But with this Knight of Cups going into our Page of Wands, this is like... We're getting re-inspired. This weekend seems very inspiring. And then the page of wands into the no, into the world is potentially we're like running with it. So this might be a creative idea. This might be a work idea. This might be just like really falling for your own energy again. Really, this and this weekend seems really self in, like introspective, which is really cool for fire and earth signs so far, right? Because our Knight of Cups definitely this is like a gentle beginning. It's not the page, but it is a night, right? So it's a gentle beginning to an emotional state, emotional mastery, like sitting in that emotional state, which is very inspiring as long as you're sitting with it properly, right? This can take you into a positive note or a negative note. This definitely seems positive. This feels like getting out and being active, being motivated to be active potentially with this uh, page of wands, right? This is a fiery, intuitive energy, right? So getting up you know, being inspired to like move forward with this like new adventure you're doing. And then with the world, this kind of feels like by the end of the weekend, this is like kind of kind of like just coming together. So whether this is an emotional state that you're trying to like figure out, maybe you were kind of stressed out all week and you're just like, mm, I don't know if this idea is really going to work. I don't know if this plan is really working out for me. I don't know if I'm doing the right choice, but with the world going into the star and the eight of cups, this definitely feels like you are on the right path right? Just sitting with that nice energy that you've created, right? That, you know, it's a very inspiring. Just sitting with that, with the star and this eight of cups, it definitely feels like, sorry, Toad's coming to say hi. You want to say hi to the camera? <laughs> In the he was outside, so he's got his bell on. Um, with the star and the eight of cups kind of coming in together is just definitely like you're coming into this new phase of a personal journey. This could be like an inspired journey. This could be potentially a new job even with the world here. You're ending a cycle and beginning a new one. This could be with relationships. It could be friendships. It could be lifestyle, right? Especially because this is a broad reading for our earth sign. So this could be a few things, but it definitely feels like it's working out in your favor. So whatever you've kind of decided to move towards, you're making some good decisions, right? Which is good. Now, let's get into our air signs, our Gemini, our Libra, and our Aquarius. Three major arcanas. Watch out. The world hierophant into the death. Okay, so when we see the death card, let's go backwards. When we see the death card, it very rarely means you're actually dying. Okay, it just means a change. And with the death card, this is a slow change. This could be over the next three to six months. There's something kind of like, because we're talking about just the weekend, there could be a shift in energy, a shift in uh, your goals, a shift in how you're perceiving the world. This is a big pivotal weekend for my earth signs or my air signs, sorry. Um, with the world going into higher font, there's definitely like a change in your, this could be your, definitely like the people that you hold around you or your values, right? This could also be a change in your rela relationships, right? There could be a change in like who you hold close to you, who you want in your life kind of thing. Because it was reversed, there may be a few people not honoring the fact that there needs to be a change in your 
close interpersonal groups or the people like your relationship, somebody's ignoring that or like ignoring something about a relationship, potentially ignoring something about their marriage commitments, maybe their family, they could be ignoring something and just kind of like falling into it um, and just pretending that it's okay. But it might be time for you to step forward and kind of like change your interpersonal views over this weekend. So it's very, it's going to be very in your head this weekend. So definitely like when we get in our heads, it's a good time to talk to ourselves, right? Let's remember we have to talk to ourselves, work it out and talk to yourselves out loud, right? If you're talk constantly talking to yourself in your head, you're not going to go anywhere. And also journaling, Three of Wands into the Lovers. Yeah, definitely somebody's making some decisions about, like, who they have in their lives. This could be a big emotional, like, weekend regarding um, partnership, right? Because we do have the Hierophant and Lovers. Like, who's important to you? Who's holding space for you? Is this a person that you want to have in your life for the rest of your life? Is this somebody who you, like, there could be potentially a proposal, right? Good for you. I like it. But with the three of wands here and the lovers, somebody's definitely paying attention, paying attention to that kind of vibration, right? Uh, there could also be like, you might be going to visit some different friends, right? With the three of wands into the lovers, because that's how air signs work. It's like your love group is your, you know, your friend group, right? So somebody's going to visit a different group of friends, potentially. And uh, actually, you'll just have some really good fun about it. So if uh, you're doing that, enjoy. And hopefully somebody just, uh, you know, ends up getting married or proposed to. I like that. Right? Okay. Let's do our last one, our beautiful water signs. Our Cancers, our Scorpios, and our Pisces. Whoa. Thanks for catching my cards, Toad. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. In the middle. I'm feeling the middle. Six of Cups. Hello. Am I hanging out with some of my water signs this weekend? Yay! I like it because it looks like we're having similar emotional styles. Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Two of Cups. So definitely in my beautiful water signs, it's not a time to retreat. It's not a time to go into yourselves. It's not a time to focus on just, you know, okay, this will be fine if I ignore it, right? This could be a time to, you know, really honor yourselves, really take care of yourselves, really focus on like, you know, the people around you, people that hold space for you, right? You might be ignoring a few things about the people around you. And really, it might be time to actually cut off a few people, right? People who aren't serving you in your highest and best good, which is interesting. Uh, 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 uh. He wants to read the cards for everybody. Not today, maybe tomorrow. Because, yeah, Six of Cups into the Four of Pentacles. There could be somebody who's pretending that things are okay with certain people, there could, you could be pretending, okay, like this is just who this person is. Like it doesn't matter. Nothing about this person is going to change. But it might be time for you to realize that you need that change in your life, right? Just, be, you know, like we can love people unconditionally. We accept for people for who they are, right? When somebody shows you who they are, that's who they are, right? And, but you can choose whether or not to have them in your lives, right? Like, you know, especially if different friend relationships or different family relationships are kind of hard, right? You're like, oh, you, you know, they're family. You got to love them. Yeah, you, you know, you can like them, but you don't have to love that person, right? You don't have to accept them into your life if you really don't like their actions or how they treat you. You know, it doesn't give you right to be rude back to them or anything like that. But this might be a time to kind of potentially block out somebody, right? Which is totally fine. Page of Cups and the Magician. Yeah, definitely. That's a big big weekend this weekend emotionally might even be like a really good weekend to um sit in the tub or sit in the rain or sit in the ocean and really manifest right because there could be something that you're trying to manifest into fruition in this next little bit because by the end of the weekend you're feeling really good by like mid saturday sunday monday you're feeling really good so it might be time to just really do a little bit of like okay i'm really sitting into this this could also be you know Somebody's really um, thinking about potentially having kids. You could be getting pregnant, right? Manifesting a child, which is really cool. I like that, right? Yeah. 
Somebody might be pregnant. Watch out, water science. Pregnant with emotion. <laughs> Not necessarily pregnant with a child. I love this. All right, guys. Go enjoy your weekend. I'm going to go enjoy mine, right? It's good reading pretty much overall for everybody. Um, just for this last weekend of August, just because everybody's been having crazy weekends and crazy weeks and a crazy couple of months. Um, if you book in for a reading or an energy healing, one-on-one -on -one counseling, um, clearing, anything like that, any of my um, services that um, I will be linking in the description below. If you book in for any service, you'll be getting a free angel card reading. So it's an extra 50 minutes add on. So feel free to book in this week. It's only this last week of August. So what day is that? The 25th to the 31st, I believe is the Saturday. Am I wrong? I might be wrong. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, next week, Monday to the Saturday, I'll put the dates in my link in description and go check that out. Go get a service for yourself. Go treat yourself and get a free 15 minute angel reading. All right, guys. All right. See you next week. Bye.